Hi guys, welcome back. So today I just wanted to do a quick little voiceover for this video. I am testing out this Esmeralda 2 eyeshadow palette from Beauty Creations. As you can see, it has this cute little imitation Gucci packaging, <laughs> but it's really cute to me. Um, and here on the back, as you can see, it does list the ingredients. It's cruelty free, made in the People's Republic of China, and it does have a 24 month shelf life. This palette is really cute. It's a nice little handy palette, not too big, easy to travel with. And these are the shades that you get inside of this palette. As you can see, it's a nice little mix of colors. It says Esmeralda 2 right here under the cute little mirror. And these are the colors that you get in this palette. You get nine shimmer shades, you guys. There's nine shimmer shadows in here and six mattes. So there's not that many mattes, but the mattes that are in here are key shades for crease work and I think they would be good for transition shades. So let's go ahead and check out some swatches for this palette, you guys. Now, when swatching this palette, I noticed that each shade did swatch pretty nicely. The matte shadows weren't patchy. They did show up. I think the true stars in this palette are the shimmer shadows, though, because they're very, very pretty and very nicely pigmented. So these are all of the colors that are in this palette. I think that it's a very unique selection of colors to put in one palette and I like it a lot. I think it's very pretty. I used it to create this look today. So let's just go ahead and jump into this look. Now of course I'm going to start out by prepping my lid with my MAC paint pot. And I'm just using a brush to place this all over my lid before I go in with these shadows today. Now on this palette, there aren't any names for these colors, so I won't be able to tell you what color I'm using. I will have to just point to it so you can see which one it is. I am going to start out with a transition shade in this palette, so I'm going for this tan shade down here on the bottom. And you'll see as I'm using this to start out this eye look, this color is very, very light, extremely light, but I think it is a nice transition shade if you want something that's not gonna show up too bold on your lid or you just wanna set your primer. Now I'm gonna go in with this bold red shade here. I want to concentrate that in my crease area. Now as you can see, it's not extremely pigmented, but the color does show up and I found that it is buildable. So I did go into the pan a couple of times just to build up this red and really make sure that it was nice and deep in my crease. And blending that in nicely, this is what I came up with for the crease color. Now I'm going into this brown shade, and the brown shade is not as dark as I was hoping it would be. It's more of like a chocolate brown, so I did use that along the outer corner of my lid and just kind of blended it in with that red. It didn't show up as dark as I wanted to, as you can see, but it did blend nicely into the red shade. Now I wanna go ahead and jump into some of these beautiful shimmer shadows. So. I'm starting off with the blue and one thing I can say about these shimmer shadows in this palette they are very pigmented but they don't blend out very well <laughs> so wherever you place that shimmer shade you better make sure that's where you want it to be because that's where it's gonna stay now I'm going back in with the residue from that red and just trying to blend out the edges of that blue. And as you can see, it does not really want to budge. Now I'm going into this gorgeous, it looks like a copper shade. And as you can see here, it is very, very nicely pigmented. I mean, I love this color. It's very, very pretty on the lid. It's gorgeous. Now what I will say about these shimmer shadows is that they blend nicely into each other. 
they just do not blend well with the matte shades so they make very nice lid colors now I'm going in with the gold and I'm going to take that and place that on the inner portion of my lid and I'm just dragging it all the way across so that I can blend it in nicely with those other two shades I want a very nice blended look on my lid today so I'm just taking those colors and blending them all together I want them to fade into each other now I'm going back with that red and I'm just gently blending over the edges of those metallic shades I'm removing my tape and I'm going to go ahead and use my pretty vulgar black gel eyeliner just to create a nice simple wing for this look Now I'm going to go ahead and miraculously finish my complexion. <laughs> now that my face is done, I'm going to go back into that red and smoke out my lower lash line for this look. I'm going to take my black pencil eyeliner and just line or go in with my lower lash line with that pencil. I'm going to use my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara for my upper and lower lashes. And for my lips today, I'm going in with my favorite lip liner, my Ellery with ColourPop Lip Liner. And I'm also going to use my Hard Candy Glitteroxy Lipstick today. It's a gorgeous, kind of metallic looking purple shade. And I'm just going to use that to complete this look. I think it matched pretty nicely with this eye look. So this is the look that I created with this palette, you guys. I must say, I love this look. I really do. I love these colors together. Now, this is a $12 eyeshadow palette, you guys. You can pick this up from Beauty Creations or Amazon. It's $12, so I will cut it a little slack. I did have to put in some work to blend out the mattes. But these shimmer shades, you guys, are gorgeous. So I'd say if you want to try it out, definitely try it out. It's $12. It's not an expensive palette, but it does create a gorgeous eye look. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.